Hi, I'm Nate Richardson, Certified Financial Planner with Pure Financial Advisors, and this is Question of the Week. This week's question is, how do my investments affect my taxes? Now, there's a couple of things to consider. Number one, it's how you save the money. You can use certain accounts to give you tax advantages. Things like a deductible 401k or an IRA will give you tax deductions. But be careful, you're going to have to pay tax on those when you start withdrawing those funds. Other accounts, like a Roth IRA, don't give you the tax deduction, but it gives you tax-free growth. So you have to be aware of how those dollars going into that account are taxed in order to figure out whether you're going to have to pay tax down the road. So those are tax-advantaged accounts. The other thing you have to consider is anything that's outside of those type of retirement accounts would be a regular investment, a taxable investment account. And the two things you have to consider on those are the gains and the income that are produced. The gains are going to be taxed typically, if you hold it for over a year, at capital gains rates, which are always lower than your ordinary income tax rates. Now, if you've held it for less than a year, you're going to be subject to that same ordinary income tax rate on those gains. The second thing is the income. So the income on those investments are also going to be taxed. Now, it depends on whether you have dividend income from stock or if you have interest income from bonds. Now, there's many different ways, but dividend income, generally speaking, is taxed the same rate as your capital gains. Interest, however, can be either taxed at ordinary income tax rates or tax-free. An example of the ordinary income tax rate would be corporate bonds. You receive that income, you have to claim that on your tax return. However, with municipal bonds like San Diego County, Los Angeles County bonds, you're going to be subject to no tax. You actually get a tax advantage and tax-free growth and income off that. So those are just some examples of ways that investments can affect your taxes. Again, my name is Nate Richardson with Pure Financial Advisors, and this has been Question of the Week.